hey guys welcome back so this story I'm going to share with you um, it's to let you know that please don't let nobody force you into doing things that you're not ready to do wait until the right time okay yes hey guys wagwan welcome back to my channel if you're new here it's your girl ld vibing um please subscribe before you leave and if you're a returning subscriber you know the strip please like the video leave a comment and such so anyway people today i'll be do doing a story time and this story time is as you see the title so yes people my other story time them with my father my father was a uh, I don't know I don't even know the word to use but my father so guys this happened when I was in fifth form at high school so me have this little boyfriend you know about the six months and follow me go to school and follow me come home and he lived near the, the high school that I used to attend. I was living close to my high school. It was walking distance. So this guy used to follow me to school and follow me come home. At the time, I never have phones. So I used to just stay. He lived. Can't say that. That's someone I'm going to know. <laughs> so he used to lay away to me. He lay away to me. <laughs> he used to lay away to me. Um, morning time or evening time, I would go to school and come home. So people this boy used to pressure me pressure me pressure me pressure me pressure me but me as a girl maybe me not me not giving to pressure so easy knowing my father my father was a street man so this boy used to pressure me to do things pressure me pressure me say me every day me give him say next week next week next week when me soon left school so he used to ask me to come my house so anyway, I said, all right, the evening day, may I go? So I went to his house, not his house, I went to his friend's house, and we were there sitting, and, you know, I was so afraid we make plan for come back the, other, the following day. So, people, I, I spent about maybe 45 minutes inside that man's room, friend's room, and we talk he asked me for a question and so anyway I see time I run down now so I say may I go on anyway I follow me come come close to me yard and me make my way home people by the time me tip in my yard and my father that attacked me and the man was like, yes, you're going to breathe now. You're going to breathe now. I'm sorry for you. See, I, I, this is what you want. So now you get it. Now you get it. Now you get it. People, the message reached from before me reached from. So I come from the boy. I don't know who tell my father. But my father here. My father here. And my father had tapped me. And he was like, yes, you're breathe now. I'm going to breathe now. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to know it's there. I'm going to know that cut off my neck. Literally. And that's the way. I never do nothing with this boy and the man nearly killed me and guys for days I couldn't sit down in a piece as in see me come like he, he, he get mad he must say yes yes see where you get where you want day. guys and me remember the following day I need to go back at the boy yard you know and me couldn't get to go back me couldn't get to go back because my father here said me go to the boy yard. I don't know how to people. Oin here like me have some people on the road. When tell if you watch me. So anyway. I was there. So guys. This is hours later. My head nearly killed me. I have to pause the video. So this is me hours later trying to finish. So. As I was saying. Um. My father nearly killed me. Somebody on the road call him, tell him, say, him see me come out of the boy place of living. 
and he nearly murdered me. At the time, um, some people was working at our house and everybody at the yard could have known what I want because the man just blurt it out, blurt it out. So people, the other day, me I go to school, I see this young lady and she said to me, say, you know, say, so and so, go tell your father for you. I was in shock, people. I was so, so in shock. Anyway, after that, I don't think me and the guy continued the relationship because he, he never had no patient. And this girl start tell me, this girl tell me, say, he started to date him. So, me let them be. And, uh, yeah, I guess that is the end of the story. Yes, that is the end of the story. Oh, I went to my yard and my father nearly cut off my head. People, don't let nobody pressure you into doing nothing you don't want to do. Wait until the time is right or when you feel comfortable in yourself. Because if me went ahead and do what me not supposed to do, to the day, I would be in problem. So the good Lord saved me. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Anyway, guys, please remember to like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and yes, bye.